Hey, what's going on you guys? Today I'm gonna to be taking you step by step on how to create a dividend income tracker in Google Sheets. So this is an interactive tracker that's a great tool for tracking passive income. So when I say it's an interactive, interactive tracker, this is what that means. This white box right here is the only data we'll ever have to insert and the tracker will pull the rest of the data and change the charts for us. So for example, let's say I buy Verizon and I buy 50 shares at $40 a share. And you can see how all this data was immediately pulled about Verizon and the charts changed accordingly. So this is a really great tool. This will help you guys out a lot. I'm gonna take you step by step on how to create this tracker. If you wanna download this tracker, there's gonna be a link in the description. A few of the formulas are a little bit more complicated, so I'm gonna have those formulas posted in the description. So that being said, let's go ahead and dive into the tutorial. Okay, so the very first step for this tutorial is we're gonna go up here to the top left corner and we're gonna title our spreadsheet. I'm gonna name it Dividend Tracker. So that's what we can find it under what, when we open Google Sheets. This will be what we save it as. So now I'm gonna come under this and put Dividendology in my spreadsheet and I'm gonna go ahead and merge these cells right here, center this text, then I'm gonna go ahead and increase the font size as well. And I think 24 looks pretty good. I think I'll most likely keep it there. Let me go ahead and fix my spelling error. Then now I'm gonna come down below here and use my first formula. And I'm gonna use the equals now open parentheses formula. And what this is gonna do is give us the current date and the current time. So I'm gonna merge that and center this text and increase the font size as well, just like I did. So I'm gonna click on both of these and give them outer borders. What outer borders does is it puts lines around our text and it really just makes everything look a lot cleaner. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to do is we're gonna come below our date and we're gonna type out symbol, shares, and purchase. So all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna list all the stocks that I've purchased, the number of shares that I bought, and the purchase price. So you can see here I bought Lumen Technology at 50 shares at about $10 per share. And I'm gonna go ahead and paste in all my other purchases. So put in here anything that you've purchased. I'm gonna highlight these and I'm gonna give it an outer border here as well. Okay, so now we're gonna to come to the right and I'm gonna get my market price, I'm gonna to wanna to get my cost and my market value. So for my market price, we're gonna use a Google Finance function, open parentheses, and then click on the symbol, which is L-U-M-N, and hit enter. And you see as I drag this down and fill it in, it's gonna autofill the rest of these companies' market price for me. And okay, so for cost, we're just gonna do our number of shares times our purchase price and drag that down as well. And then our market value is just gonna be the number of shares we bought times the current market price. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna to wanna to see is my dollar gain and my growth. So my dollar gain formula is gonna be a really simple formula. That's just gonna be our market value and we're gonna subtract that by our cost and hit enter. And then we're gonna autofill the rest of those. And so here you can see all our, our gains and you can see right there where I had a loss. Now for our growth, we're gonna do equals open parentheses, our market price subtracted by the purchase price close the parentheses and then divide that by our purchase price and hit enter and autofill that. And you can see that's a huge decimal number. So we're gonna highlight those and come up here near the top and we're gonna turn that into a percentage. So, okay, you can start to see it's starting to come together a little bit. So this next step is gonna be a little bit more difficult. We're gonna wanna pull the amount paid in dividends by each of these stocks. So in order to do that, we're gonna have to import HTML so we're gonna head over to the website called finviz.com and I'm gonna look up the company's dividend, type them in right here and hit enter. And I'm gonna scroll down. And if you'll look right over here, you're gonna see where it says how much the company pays in dividends. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this formula into Google Sheets. This formula is gonna be posted in the description. And you can see here, it's a pretty complicated formula. I've, uh, I've mentioned in past videos what it does if you'd like to learn how it works. 
And when I hit enter on this, you're gonna see that it's gonna pull the amount paid in dividends. And I'm gonna drag that down and it'll do the same for the rest of the companies. So while I'm here, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this as well. And I'm gonna fix the font size. While we're at it, let's just go ahead and fix the way it's aligned so it looks like everything else. So the next thing we're gonna to wanna to see is we're gonna to wanna to see our current dividend yield. I'm gonna drag that over so it's sized correctly. And then I'm gonna to wanna to see my dividend yield on cost as well. So for our current dividend yield, all I'm gonna do is take our dividend divided by the market price and hit enter. And you can see how much the current dividend yield is. So for our dividend yield on cost, we're gonna do the current amount paid in dividends divided by our purchase price and hit enter. So these are large decimals, so we're gonna highlight this as well and change these over to a percentage as well. So the last dividend metric that we're gonna to wanna to see is we're gonna see how much we're gonna get paid by each of these companies in dividends each year. So I'm gonna type in dividend income and all this is gonna be is the amount paid in dividends multiplied by the amount of shares that we purchased. So I'm gonna hit enter here and you can see how much each company is gonna pay us in dividends over the next year. Now I'm gonna come up here and we're gonna to wanna to see one more thing. We're gonna to wanna to see what each company's industry is. So to do this, this is a little bit more complicated. We're gonna head over to fidelity.com. I'm gonna type in the company and I'm gonna hit go and I'm gonna scroll down here and the industry should be listed somewhere right here. Let's see. And okay, so there it is. I'm gonna highlight that for you. This is the HTML data that we're gonna to wanna to pull. So this is gonna be another complicated formula. I'm gonna have the formula posted in the description. You can see right here, it's another long formula. And I'm gonna go ahead and hit enter on this. And what this is gonna do is it's gonna pull the industry that each of these companies is in. And I'm gonna drag this down as well. You can see it's loading, it takes a second sometimes. And okay, so now you can see each of the companies and what industry this is in. This is a really important metric that you're always gonna wanna see whenever evalu evaluating any type of portfolio. So you can understand where most of your capital and where you have the most risk tied up. So I'm gonna highlight this, fix the font size as well real quick. And go ahead and align this correctly as well. The next thing I'm gonna to wanna to do, I'm gonna go ahead and highlight this and give it outer borders. Just makes it look a lot nicer when you do that. And I'm gonna highlight this row as well, and bold these metrics out. Okay, so now it's time to start focusing on creating some of these charts and visualizations. So I'm gonna highlight my symbols and I'm gonna come over here and highlight my market value as well. And if you go to insert, you can click on chart right here, and it's gonna automatically create a chart for us. You can see it made us a bar chart. That's not what I want for this one. I'm gonna to wanna to see a pie chart. So I'm gonna change that right here. And then I'm just gonna drag this over and set it near the bottom left side of my portfolio. And having this all in the same sheet really helps us kinda of visualize really quickly how our portfolio is doing at any point in time. Okay, so we're gonna go ahead and make another chart as well. For this one, I'm gonna to have to create another sheet. I'll name this one home, and then I'll name this one down here, dividends. So for this sheet, we're gonna to wanna to do equals and click on our symbol and hit enter. And then we're gonna drag that down so we have all of our symbols. And then the two metrics we're gonna to wanna to see for this chart is our dividend income. 
And then I'm also going to see my dividend income, or excuse me, dividend yield on cost. And so we're going to use equals and pull that metric from our past sheet as well. So I'm going to take my dividend income and hit enter. And then I'm going to drag that down. Then I'm going to do the same thing for my dividend yield on cost. And I'm going to drag that down. So now I'm going to highlight all this information and just like the uh, the last chart, we're going to want to go up top to insert and I'm going to click on chart and you can see it made a pie chart again. That's not what we're going to want. We're actually going to want a combo chart. So that's right here. When I click on this, you can see it's still not quite right. So I'm going to go to customize, click on series and I'm gonna apply it to yield on cost and we're gonna to wanna to create a right axis right here. And okay, so now you can see the chart is looking a lot better. We can see the metrics we wanna see. We see our dividend income on the left with the bar chart and then we see our dividend yield on cost with the line. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and select this and I'm gonna copy and paste this over to my other sheet. So I'm gonna get this lined up, maybe resize it a little bit and make it look better. So when I zoom out, you can see it's really starting to come together. And I just realized I meant to put industry right here. Let me go ahead and fix that. Okay. So now we're gonna go ahead and make another sheet. We're gonna to wanna to see our value by industry. So this chart's gonna be just a little bit more complicated than the first one we did. The first thing we're gonna to wanna to pull is our symbol, like always, and hit enter and drag that down. Then we're gonna to wanna to see our market value as well and drag that down. And then we wanna know our value by industry, so obviously we wanna see what industry each of these companies is in. So I'm gonna drag that down as well. And so this next formula I'm going to use is called the unique formula. What you're gonna do is hit equals, type in unique, and then you're gonna do an open parentheses and hit enter after you have highlighted all of the industries. And so you'll see here, now it's only showing one of each of the industries listed. So this is a really useful formula. This next formula I'm about to use it's a little more complicated. This will be posted in the description as well. Basically what it's doing is summing all the values of each individual industry. And so I'm gonna go ahead and drag this down as well. And this data right here is the data we're gonna to wanna to use to make our next chart. So I'm gonna select it and hit insert, and go to chart and make a pie chart. So now here we can see our value by each industry and understand where we have the most risk tied up. So I'm gonna copy and paste this over as well. As you can see, I'm gonna to need to resize and fit some of this to make it look a little bit nicer. So I'll move some of this stuff around. And okay, so now it's starting to look a little more symmetrical. So the next step we're gonna to wanna to see is we're gonna to wanna to be able to see our expected dividends and our portfolio value at a glance. So I'm gonna type in portfolio value right here. I'm gonna to wanna to see my portfolio dividend yield as well. And I'm gonna also wanna know my expected yearly dividends and my expected or my average dividends per month. So if you're somebody who's trying to live off of dividends, your dividends per month is going to be a really important metric. So maybe you'll have a target of, who knows, maybe $3,000 per month. So now I'm just going to merge these cells up top. And I'm going to highlight all of them now. 
and I'm gonna go ahead and increase the font size. I'm gonna center this text as well as bold it because we wanna be able to make it stand out a little bit. So for our portfolio value, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go equals sum and we wanna sum the total market value and close the parentheses and hit enter. And so there you can see our total market value of our portfolio. Now I'm gonna jump down to my annual dividends. We're gonna skip portfolio dividend yield for a second. I'm gonna do the same thing for my dividend income and just sum all of my dividend income. And for my portfolio dividend yield, all that's gonna be is my annual dividends divided by my portfolio value. I'm gonna make that a percentage as well. So there you can see my portfolio dividend yield. And for my average monthly dividends, all I'm gonna do is my annual dividends and let me go ahead and fix the spelling. Do my annual dividends divided by my portfolio, excuse me, my annual dividends divided by 12. And there you can see about how much I will be expected to make and dividends each month. So I'm gonna go ahead and align these to where it looks a little bit nicer, increase the font size and bold that as well. Now I'm just gonna go ahead and give this an outer border as well, like I do for most of my text. So the next step we're gonna take is we're gonna use conditional formatting to make our returns stand out. So I'm gonna highlight these cells right here, go to format and scroll down to conditional formatting. And I want anything that's greater than the number zero to come out green then I'm gonna click add a rule and select anything less than zero and I want that to come out as red. And so now you can see where my positive returns are green and my negative returns are red. So I'm gonna do the same thing for my percent growth. Go to format, conditional formatting, select greater than, anything greater than zero. I want to come out as green. I'm gonna add a rule and select less than, anything less than zero be red. So this is just gonna help us see at a glance what our positive and negative returns are. The next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight all of these values and click select a filter. So this is gonna allow us to do a lot of different things. For example, now I can filter and sort by my expected dividends. So now you can see the list of the stocks I expect to make the most in dividends. You can see how the charts changed. So this is just a really useful tool. So one of the final steps for this portfolio is to color everything in. And you can see here how I color in my charts. Just as an example, I usually like to go with the lighter colors. You can see here how I color in the text as well. And here in just a second, I'm gonna show you how I colored my entire portfolio in. And you can see that I've colored everything in, I've resized everything just to make everything look cleaner and nicer. Like I said, the lighter colors do tend to look a lot better. You can see here I used light red. And this is a fully interactive spreadsheet. So you can see this white box, if I were to change the symbol, the shares, and the purchase price, you can see how everything in the portfolio changes as well. We have the charts changing, and we have all of our individual metrics pulling as formulas, so we don't have to change any of those. And you can see here, if I wanted to add another stock to my portfolio, that's easy. I just click insert, or if I wanna remove one, I can just click delete row. So that's a really easy move to make as well. So I really hope this tutorial helped you guys out a lot. If you'd like to download this spreadsheet or any of my other spreadsheets that I've created, you could head to my Patreon page. There's a link in the description and you can download them there. It would really mean a lot to me guys if you would leave a like on the video and subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys so much.